Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Um, so as you can see, I'm sitting here in this hallway, and uh, there's a chest over there. And it's on a diamond block, so it's probably got some great loot. And the only thing standing between me and that chest is a beacon. And of course, beacon beams aren't solid, right? So I should be able to just walk right through, except, wait, what? No. Oh, look at that. I can't get through. It's a solid beacon beam. But there's got to be some way to get to the chest, so, uh... Button? Yeah! Beacon beam turned off, and I walked through, but when the beacon beam's on, I'm actually stuck. It's almost as if those pistons are moving the beacon beam, which of course is not possible. That's weird. Anyway, what's our loot? <sighs> Diamond blocks and emerald blocks and all the things. Yes. So anyway, uh, being a tutorial, obviously, that I want to show you how to do this, and take note, this only works in 1.9. It works in the 1.9 snapshots. And actually, it was watching a video on the uh, snapshots and all the um, new features and stuff that... Where's my music and sounds? Oh. That gave me this idea. So basically how this works, and you might have seen it on the way in and out of this hallway, or maybe not, is that there's actually an iron bar in there. Um, so if we were to break that beacon, you can see there's an iron bar just in the way. But in 1.9, iron bars that are next to things that they can't connect to won't show the connected texture, it'll show just a bar. And the thing about that is that beacon beams are actually thicker than the iron bar itself. So they hide the bar completely. So even though it looks like it's just a beacon beam, there's really an iron bar in there. So of course when you press the button, this sticky piston retracts, along with that just for symmetry, but that's not needed. Uh, the sticky piston retracts and pulls the iron bar with it. Now, the iron bar won't connect to the sticky piston because technically pistons are considered transparent blocks, which is why also the beacon beam can go through this piston on the top. Um, so it allows it to be just a bar that you can't see. And so when you press this button, it both disables the beacon beam by removing a block from its iron base and also retracts the sticky piston to pull the iron bar out of the way so that you can simultaneously see the beacon beam disappear and also walk through it at the same time. So it seems as though the beacon beam is the bar. So yeah, so that's really the main thing. Um, the redstone here is very simple. You press the button, uh, it retracts these sticky pistons here to move the bar out of the way. It also retracts these pistons, but again, that's just for symmetry, not necessary. Um, and then that signal comes out here and also retracts this sticky piston that's connected to one of the uh, blocks on the base of the beacon. So it pulls it out of the way, which disables the beacon. And then of course, when the button is uh, released, it extends the sticky piston, putting the iron bars back in place, and extends this sticky piston, which reactivates the beacon. So yeah, it makes it seem like there is a solid beacon, um, which can be used for many things. Unfortunately, one thing it can't be used for is like a laser grid, um, for like a, I don't know, jail cell or something. That was the first idea that I had, was to put like several beacons next to each other like this. But if you put the iron bars next to each other, they actually do connect, and then it causes like the visual issue of having the iron bars between the beacons, and then you can clearly see its iron bars, so not the best. Um, so you can't do that. But for like a one wide hallway, you can definitely make a solid laser beam, solid beacon beam system. Um, so yeah, and the thing about this is, uh, even though it's great for maps, it also works in survival. So you can build this in front of your base, for example. You can have this be the door to your base, so everyone can see into your base, but they're blocked by a beacon beam. 
Um, and on a similar note, what's really cool, uh, you don't have to use iron bars, you can also use stained glass panes. And if I were to take out this iron bar down here and use a stained glass paint, oops, I just took regular stained glass, didn't I? Panes. Stained glass panes. It will color the beacon beam, but it will still be covered up by the beam. So you can actually do something like this and have your colored beacon beam that's still solid without seeing any like attachments to anything. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And you can even do multiple colors. If I wanted to do, say, green and then red, let's take a red stained glass. I mean, obviously they blend together because that's how beacon coloring works. But yeah, you can do stuff like this and have it be a solid beacon beam with colors. Now, obviously, if there's a little bit of lag, you can see the panes left behind, which happens occasionally. But overall, it's a really cool uh, concept of having solid beacon beams. So, and of course, uh, you can just stack the panes or iron bars up as high as you want. Um, so you can make this solid up to whatever height you want. You can go up to build limit if you wanted. Um, so yeah. And uh, because this is a real beacon, of course, you can actually use it for beacon effects as well. So it's kind of dual function. So yeah, small little thing that I wanted to show after I found out that the beacon beam hides the iron bars and glass panes in 1.9. Again, this only works in 1.9 and it's snapshots, so anything before that you will see obviously the little X shape that those items used to show. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty cool. Um, so until next time, keep blocking people <laughs> and keep redstoning.